Welcome everyone to Web Design and Development course. This video is an introduction to HTML5 and CSS. You will also see the source and reference for this video. I hope you will be able to follow along this web design course. Coming up next are the ESL. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs. These are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. The intent of this video is to identify several applications for writing HTML codes and the application we will be using throughout this web design course. In the first video, we have covered the subtopics, what we need in this course, the web design course files, the history of HTML, and what HTML is all about. Now, we'll discover on where to write and save HTML, how to run HTML, then I'll show you some examples and elements of HTML. In the next slide, let's discuss first on where to save HTML. In order to save HTML files or documents, we need to install first a local server and throughout our HTML course, we'll use the MAMP server for us to save HTML files. If you are doing this online, then you need to install MAMP server in your home computer. So please follow these steps in order to install MAMP server. In the computer lab, it's already installed, so you just have to know the folder location for saving HTML files. By the way, let's understand the meaning of MAMP first. So what is MAMP or M-A-M-P? MAMP is an acronym for Mac, Apache, MySQL, or MySQL, and PHP. It's quite obvious that we're using Apple computers in our lab, so you're, so we're using MAMP here. What about if you're using Windows? MAMP becomes WAMP, which means Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Now it's time to install MAMP Go to the website mamp.info slash en slash downloads. If you are doing online class, then you can choose Mac or Windows downloads, depending on the platform you are using. In here, I am downloading for Mac OS. Go, and, go ahead and click the button. You can see if it's downloading the installer. Now it's downloaded here. So you can simply double click and install it as I have placed an arrow there. But I'll show you another way to install this application, especially for the newbies or the first timers. So click this button here, then click show in Finder, which you will be directed to the downloads folder. If you are using Windows, then open the Downloads folder as well. What we're doing here is simply follow some steps to install MAMP server. If you're using Windows, then simply follow the installation instructions as well. So continue the installation process and then click Install. If you see this dialog box, enter password to install software. After the installation process, we can delete the installation file. So we'll just move the file to trash. The installation was successful. We'll click the close button. Now let's locate the installed file in order to run MAMP server. In Mac, it's in Applications, MAMP folder. Then locate the MAMP icon. For Windows, it's in Drive C, MAMP folder, 
and MAMP application icon. Now, the MAMP server that we just installed serves as a local server or local host. Please remember this important word as we are going to use this every time we run HTML file. Double click MAMP icon to run the MAMP server. Now MAMP is running, but we have to click the Start Servers button in order to run. And you will notice the Apache and MySQL servers are running with green indicators on. Now let's go to the MAMP menu, then Preferences. And that should be here, Applications, MAMP, Folder, and MAMP Icon. Now please pay attention with these folders here. This is where we will save our HTML files. We're saving our HTML files in the htdocs folder in this entire HTML course. Now going back to our question on where to save HTML files, we are saving it in htdocs folder where we can locate it from Applications, MAMP folder, then htdocs folder. So please remember this location. The next question is where to write HTML codes. There are actually several options on where to write our codes, and I'll show you a few examples on where to write HTML codes in the next slide. We're actually writing it in text editors, and these are several examples of text editors. We have Notepad for Windows and TextEdit for Mac. There's Bluefish, Smalltron, Text Wrangler, Adobe Dreamweaver as well. But there's another one that's quite handy and flexible, and we will be using this text editor throughout this course. So I would like to introduce you the same text editor. So Sublime Text Editor is already installed in the computers here in the lab. But for the sake of those who are taking online class, I'll show you how to install Sublime Text Editor in the next slide. Go to the website sublimetext.com slash 3, then choose the file to download depending on which platform you are using. So we have OS X version 10.7 for Mac, and for Windows there are two versions. We have the Windows and Windows 64-bit. In this video, I will download for Mac. Then we'll just do the same process of downloading and installing the file for MAMP server earlier in this video. Assuming that you have downloaded the file, so double-click the downloaded file, then go for Mac. You just have to drag Sublime Text to the Applications folder, as you can see in the image. For Windows, you have to follow few installation instructions to be able to install Sublime Text. Assuming that you have installed Sublime Text Editor, now we can run the application. In this slide, I'm showing you the Sublime Text Editor, and this is where we'll write our HTML codes. In the next slide, we'll learn how to run HTML documents. Going back to our htdocs folder, I have created the HTML folder in section 1 folder, and inside that folder is a sample HTML file. So we need to run the sample.html file. How do we do that? In Google Chrome browser, we'll type localhost colon 8888 then press enter so I have encircled there in red you'll see the index of HTML encircled in red this is actually referring to the folder inside htdocs HTML encircled in blue 
So if I will click the red, the index of HTML, it will actually show like this. Now you'll see the index of HTML or the parent directory and section 1 encircled in blue. This is actually referring to this folder encircled in, red, in green and that's section 1. So if I will click section 1 in the browser, I'll be able to see this. In the index of HTML, section 1, I have seen the sample that HTML file encircled in red. This is actually referring to this file here, the one encircled in blue. And now if you click sample.html file, then we'll get this result in the browser. How to run HTML is through the use of localhost 8888. The one that we can see in the browser is actually written inside the Sublime Text Editor with this code. So now we learned how to run our HTML codes with the use of localhost. At the same time, I have shown you HTML element examples encircled in red and a simple HTML web page encircled in blue. Don't worry about the codes for now. You'll be able to learn how to write the codes in our next video lesson. For your information, if Apache server is not running, localhost will not load the web page, as seen in the example below. So we have covered these subtopics in the previous video, and in this video, I hope that you have learned about the introduction of HTML. For today's short activity, we'll have a web quest about HTML. Thank you for watching this video.